Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Josie from Maine to Memphis. I am out here at uh, lovely Sea Isle Park in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, getting my exercise groove on this morning, as you can tell by my very red face. <laughs> Hopefully I have some makeup left. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit today about transforming yourself. Uh, of course, today my focus is on exercise. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about my, my background. I'll be brief. Um, to kind of illustrate to you some critical decisions I've made over the years. I made over the years to uh, to get to the point now where I'm exercising. Uh, back in uh, 2002, after I moved to Memphis, I got the flu, started recovering from the flu, and then was suddenly paralyzed from the waist down. I had this uh, crazy autoimmune disease called transverse myelitis. And I say that knocked me off my feet, quite literally, for a good couple of years. I was in the hospital for about two months, um, rehab, and I had to relearn how to walk again. And all the things that I took for granted, just being able to walk, being able to, you know, excuse the topic, but go to the bathroom, do everything from the waist down, um, just really, I, I took that for granted, and I didn't take it for granted after that, boy, I tell you, I worked my butt off in that rehab center to the point where they started putting, like, uh, shades around me because I was depressing the older patients that were in there for knee and hip replacements. <laughs> so um, I worked really hard and you know I, when I look back at my life I go ahead and I look at it as before TM and after TM. I don't look at it as my life is worse after TM because obviously you know look at me walking here I, I obviously can walk and and uh, you know I'm doing well most people when they look at me or watch me move, can't tell that I was paralyzed a little over 10 years ago. So I, I really just went through a period of time where I analyzed everything in my life. Um, I was in a poor marriage at the time, and it took me a few years to get out of it, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I, I really felt transformed in my thinking. I began to appreciate people that had disabilities. I began to appreciate how hard it was to work out, how hard it was to start a routine. And my paralysis, uh, although it kind of prevented me from uh, continuing in my, my nursing profession, I was able to transition into helping other people in another way, because I'm a caregiver, always will be. So I got into massage therapy, and let me switch over to this side here. I got into massage therapy and uh, started to help people and really enjoyed doing that. And I became not only their, their therapist physically, but most of my clients will tell you today that I'm also a, a, uh, a psychologist of sorts to them. They really look forward to my sessions because I give them additional value. I, I, I do more for them than just rub their body. So I don't massage as much anymore. I've owned that business for about seven years now. And uh, I, get into, I got into a little more um, of a, a niche market within massage called body contouring. And I took some risks. And I transformed my life again by hiring a spa consultant and really ramping up my business. And so I worked with people day in and day out who weren't exercising and coming to use my systems in replacement of exercise. And I, I really uh, struggled to explain to them how critical it was if they just you know, would even get out and exercise, um, how critical that would be to their progress, not just from the standpoint of inch loss, but their emotional well-being, their their mental well-being. And uh, there's some people that no matter how hard you try, you can't do it for them. You, you just simply can't do it for them. But I really um, enjoyed coaching them, I still do, uh, really, really enjoy um, giving them advice and helping them meet their goals, help them transform themselves. So for me, I've gone kind of up and down physically throughout the years, um, as most people have, and uh, I packed on some weight when I moved to Memphis, and then I dropped it, and then I packed on some more weight, and then I dropped it, and then I decided um, when I couldn't acquire a partner for my massage business, uh, I wanted to kind of buy another piece of machinery that was going to take a significant investment, and at the time, the economy was pretty sketchy, and uh, it was really hard to attract a partner to invest that kind of money. So... I decided that maybe this is the guy's upstairs, uh, the guy upstairs way of saying to me, you know, hey, maybe you need to go back to school. 
my mom tells me that all the time. She's uh, uh, very traditional. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back to school. So I loved respiratory therapy. The doctors cleared me, my TM doctors cleared me to go, that I could have immunizations again, that I could be in an environment where my immune system could, uh, could uh, deal with the pressures it would face. And um, I just really, you know, was ready to make a change in my life. So I transformed myself from just full-time business owner to part-time business owner and full-time college student. And what a crazy program it was. And I gotta say, it was tough. My little 41-year-old brain just doesn't absorb information as much, as quick as it used to. But I did uh, do it, and I graduated about a month and a half ago. And that's a, you know, a huge goal for me that I wanted to uh, accomplish, and I did it. And I'm really proud of myself about it. Uh, some days I don't quite believe it, but I did it. But during school, I uh, gained a lot of weight. I had some really severe blood sugar issues and an allergy attack and, you know, I was stressed out. I wasn't exercising. I didn't have time to do anything for myself. I was working clinicals, taking care of the clientele I had in my business, trying to take care of my kids, have a relationship with my boyfriend. It was really, it was really a lot. And uh, I didn't have much of a social life. <laughs> I definitely wasn't on Facebook. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty crazy. It was worth it. But I wanted to, you know, basically, um, you know, complete that. I did. Moving on, I graduated a month and a half ago. I wanted to, while I was taking my boards, I wanted to set up another business. I, I, I love doing what I do, but I'm dependent on other people's schedules. I'm in doing service hours all the time, and I'm in taking care of other people all the time, usually in the evening, on Saturdays. And, uh, you know, that's really tough on the family life. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, what I ended up doing, and I just found a link, I think it was on Facebook, from the Stop the Family. And uh, I went uh, and decided, you know, I'm going to try this online viral video blogging system. I want to see, you know, how this works. So I checked things out, went to the Wednesday night hangout. Did a, a few things to uh, kind of you know make sure it was legit. Is I you know I've been I've been approached probably on a weekly basis by people wanting to start up businesses, usually having to do with product, and I just don't sell product well. I don't know what it is. It's just not my forte. I'm a service thing. I'm a um, someone that's a, a big picture person. Anyway, I uh, I got into it. Uh, I've been slim at the last couple of weeks and uh, exercise for me is a, a key component of it that was another thing when I graduated school I'm like you know what I got to get out I got to exercise I've got to get this thing going because I didn't like the way I looked I didn't like the way I felt I had no energy uh, just felt blah and if you look at pictures of me during that time you'll see I felt like blah so so, uh, so now here I'm out here at a park, usually different parks in town all the time, and I am uh, getting out here every day. I work out at my total home gym as well, and uh, I'm starting to see some real significant changes physically, mentally, and emotionally. So so I guess the, the message, the final message of all of this little video is, is this, my morning, is if someone who is paralyzed can get up and walk every day and start small and then double her efforts day in and day out and see results you can get out here and do this I know it's not fun I know sometimes it's painful but put on some really you know cool fat upbeat music listen to an inspiring audio like I do in the empower uh, network they have an inner audio audio series there that works great for me just you know get out there and get it done distract your mind from what your body's doing and get out there and get it done so that's my little message for me today I have a lot of experience in this in this uh, area not just um, personally but my job is to help people exercise is to help people lose inches to transform their body and uh, you, should, you should go ahead and and uh, think through what goals you have how do you want to look how do you want to feel you'll be amazed 
how quickly you start feeling really well and you wonder why I didn't start this before. So I hope you all have a great September 12th and uh, whew, I'm starting, it's getting hotter out here. I'm starting to not be able to talk as well. So I'm going to sign off. Come take a look at my fan page. Take a look at my blog from Maine to Memphis. It's a cheeky little blog about uh, cultural differences between Maine and Memphis. And I talk a bit how I'm able to get out and exercise and travel and go and do the things that I'm passionate about. Ride my Harley around town. And, uh, whoo, it's getting hot out here. <laughs> and uh, take a look at that stuff and uh, let, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have anybody that uh, has a really funny accent, has a funny story, uh, southern or, or northern, I'd love to hear it. Uh, send, me a, send me a message and we'll connect. So cool. So take care, everybody. It's Josie from Maine to Memphis.